What is going on guys, we're here with NJMP versus ABR this time for Snake and he leads with Ditto so you can already tell the lander set from ABR Gets his rocks up um, This is a really interesting team Mega Pinsa squad, most likely a Zemo of Kartana, so he gets up a spike, he's most likely gonna SD here The lander comes out So ABR is either gonna U-turn here or hard switch that was really interesting. So he's most likely Scar feature and he doubles out on the Ferrothorn. A really nice play on ABR's stat. Breaking the chance, he slashed the Tox effects. But yeah, going for his DAN was quite interesting. I thought he could have just attacked. And so Katana's either gonna SD here or Leaf Blade, anticipating the Landorus. And if I was ABR, I would. Yeah, he defox. If I was ABR, mm, I would just go for U turn here. On the SD, but he goes for rocks. So, so now it's hard to switch into this, so he sacks his line. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would have U-turn instead of sacking it. But it's fine, I guess. He's gonna go Tren here, and Chansey or Pex is gonna come out. He makes a nice double back into Lottie. So this might have, like, T-Wave or Toxic. So maybe, uh, yeah, exactly. It's like, yeah, but he was either gonna switch and scout for it, or he has sub to scout for it, it works as well. Chansey's forced out, I assume he's gonna calm it up, and this Lottie just uh, is a huge threat to NJMP's team. He kinda loses to it. He can calm it up again here, as I assume we're gonna see U-turn that's gonna break this up. He has to calm it up again to do more damage to stuff like Chansey, and I think now he Oko's Pinsir and he Oko's Katana as well. Katana is pretty frail, so the resistance doesn't matter. I like on the spit side. So he's pretty much forced to go into Chansey here and spam Seismic Toss, because I don't think Ditto beats it. It's like. Ditto has like a lower HP stat than Lari, so like, and he only has like 5 HP, uh, yeah 5, not HP, 5 PP, because it's Scarf, right? So like he has to go uh, Chansey and spam Astos, and hope that he can uh, Toxic or T-Wave him on a turn that ABR goes for a Roost. So we already know this is rocks, this is scarf, this is spike. So what is the clef set? Maybe it's like a call my T-Wave variant. Um because T-Wave support, his team is quite slow, he only has a scarf trend. Would help him a bit. So as Ladi outspits the opposing team. But yeah, he has to go uh chancy here, but I JMP's probably running some calcs here. And yeah, he has to Astos obviously because he already showed sub, so he, he cannot go for a status on a sub that would put him in a bad position. Maybe it was for Another call mine, so now um, maybe I might go for Roost, so if he breaks that, or recover. If he breaks that, he can go for a status move, as he does get that play correct. Uh, even if ABR sub there, I mean it would have been rough for NJMP if he subbed there, but it would not have been the end of the world. Um, getting T-Wave off is really important though. Now, yeah, to be fair, yeah, it would have been hard for him. If he, if he subbed there, it would have been even worse for NJMP. He's already in a tough spot. Um, but yeah, now he has this parrot, so at least he can um, outspeed this with Pinsir, so he's gonna spam Seismic Toss. He's basically gonna sack his Chansey, and then he's gonna try to revenge with Pinsir, but I don't think Pinsir can revenge this, unless he gets more damage off. Um, I think Pinsir is like 65 or something like that, just, it's just a hat calc. Um, so and, uh, ABR is not gonna get super healthy, he's also parrot, so he's just gonna have to attack here and hope that he doesn't get parrot. He's just gonna sack the Chansey, and now he has to go Pinsir to weaken this, like, he, like nothing else just really beats it. Like the other ones would have to rely on Para to beat it. So it's gonna fire off a return slash frustration, same thing. I'm pretty sure Lottie's gonna live it, so ABI has to hope that he doesn't get parity. And if he doesn't get parity, he gets rid of the pincer, which a uh, pincer is actually a threat to him. It does 50, yeah, so it actually did less than I expected. And Star Power just kills the pincer, obviously. It doesn't get paralyzed there. Um, now NJP is gonna go for Leaf Blade here. Uh, ABR might save this as fodder and go into like. Toxapex, but it's a bit risky. Um, if NJMP breaks the switch and goes for SD, that puts a good amount of pressure on ABS team. And since this is paralyzed, it's not going to be doing much. It's not like he has any healing wish users to bring this back. So I think it's fine to sack this, but he might switch. Um, if he's Fizz Death on Pex, even though I think he's more Spit Death on this team, when the Cliff should be the more Fizz Death Mon and the Lander should be the Fizz Death Mon, that is probably more Spit Death, so it's going to take a lot from like a Leaf Blade. Um, if NJMP is wild, he goes for defog here, expecting the switch. That would be a fire play if it works, but it's risky. So yeah, I would just leave that here if I'm NJMP. And for ABR, you either stay in, um, not risking anything, or you can go into your 
your packs. Uh, you cannot go hard into turn on a potential fighting move. So ABR can um, try to skull burn this, or he can go for a haste, anticipating a SD. Oh, he might just go for recover as well. But recovering doesn't help you because if he SDs and you recover, it doesn't help you. Mm -hmm. He just goes for skull, hoping for the burn. He doesn't get it. Um, now this is in range from Iron Bobs, I think, right? So there's a Ferrothorn in the bag. So let's see if NGMP goes for SD, expecting the Ferrothorn to come out. There is the Ferrothorn as he goes for Z move. Oof. It's all a pummeling. Good God, it's a fire play. It just dies in one. So this has to be like a more speed death arrow if it dies in one because it's only 90 base for a sacred sword. I know it's a Z move, so it's stronger, but like the base power is not that high. I know Katana is super strong, but it's not stab and everything. So he goes in the scarf trend here, and I think this time he's just gonna click lava plume. Uh, elf power, elf power is the better play because elf power doesn't let the ditto in. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that lets in the the landris here for NJMP. NJMP can go in the landris here, and he can get up his rocks. As I assume we're gonna see the Clefable come out or the Ladi Sec. Mm -hmm. So he gets up the rocks and I assume he's gonna Earthquake here. Um, scout out if it's Max Defense Clef, which is most likely gonna be Max Defense. And uh, he U turns, okay, okay, that works. And so he's gonna go Pex here. So if this Pex has Haze, he can deal with a common Clef Goom Blast there. Um, let's see if it's T Wave or if it's Knock of Clef or if it's Calm Mind. He rules Calm Mind, so if this Pex doesn't have haste, and is in a really bad position, so he just Skulls here. So I assume this is a Skulls. He switches back in the Pex, so ABI wants to get region on this Pex, okay. Um, also ABI is in Skulls for a haste there, so I understand that play. So he's just spamming Skulls trying to get the burn, so he's um, Skulls recover. And then Toxic Spikes, and then either Haze or Toxic in the last slot, but it, I, that's what I assume at least. If he doesn't have Haze, um, the Clefable is a problem for NGMP. The Clefable kind of just wins, um, unless he can crit the Clefable with his Ditto when he comes in. But Ditto only has 5 PP, so ABI gets the burn on NGMP's Toxic Packs. I assume if ABI is eventually going to switch exactly, because he doesn't want to get burned on his packs. I think he wasn't burned on his packs yet, right? Mm -hmm. So Clef doesn't mind the burn, has Magic Guard, and he can... Okay, he goes back to that. Okay, I thought he would just start calm mining up, because um, until uh, NJMP reveals haze, he could at least like scout for if he has haze. Because if he doesn't have haze, he could put, he can kind of just win with Clef. I assume he's gonna go back to Pex because he doesn't want this uh, Pex to get burned. Did I say Pex? I meant back to Clef. So I'm like quite interested about this last move slot. We only know it's Karma and Moonblast Softball, that's obvious, but we don't know the last move. I know I think he didn't go for Softball yet, but it's still, that's every Clef runs that. So like it's just pretty much obvious it's flip. So he's calm mining up here and NGP is just scalding. Um Lana loses to Clef because it's like defensive, I think. Mm -hmm. Well maybe it was already revealed. Defensive from U-turn damage, I'm pretty sure, yeah. So if this doesn't have haste, like I said, it's looking like the X button here. Um, I mean, he kind of has, like I said, he has to crit it with the Ditto. But ABR has more Moonblast PP than Ditto has and stuff like that. Not sure why he's Moonblasting already. I think, uh, yeah, he's really expecting a Haze, I think. But until he doesn't use Haze, you can just comment more. Like, you should comment to plus 6. Because if you use Moonblast and you know the plus 6, you're kind of wasting your Moonblast PP. So yeah, um, I assume we're gonna see the, like if this doesn't have haze, and I don't think it has because he never went for it, um, it's gonna come down to um, Ditto having to crit this, or maybe ABI can crit the Ditto, that would speed up the process, speed up the game. And since he doesn't have haze, or like he never showed it, I assume it's just Toxic, Toxic Spikes, Recover, Scald, Toxic Spikes. Um, toxic is nice for stuff like Zapdos, but overall I don't like non-haze Toxic Packs. Like I've tested Toxic Packs without haze and I'm not a big fan of it at all. So he goes into Ditto now. And he, sees, he reveals Cosmic Tower, it's quite interesting. So it, that boosts Clefable's Fizz Dev as well. I mean it also boosts the Spid Dev, but it can, it can help boost Clefable's um, defense as well. Which can be nice I guess with stuff like Landris, stuff like Pinsir. Um, like, I'm just thinking in general what this would be for. Like, it can happen with, like, a Lando. Um, since this is locked into Moon... But this is doing a lot, because it's plus 6. So, ABI let his Heatran take a lot of damage. Um, but ABI is basically just switching um, from Heatran to Pax, and now he can recover here. And since this only has 5 PP, uh, if he doesn't get crit, he's completely fine. I mean, I don't know if I would have let my Heatran get super low, 
But I guess that was a fine play because he weakened this a bit with Flash Can. And NJP cannot really go for a softball with this because it's Scarf, so it, like he would be locked in. And yeah, yeah, it's just gonna comment up again now with this call fail. And yeah, the Ditto is low, and it's getting lower from Rock since um, Ditto takes Rocks before it transforms. Like Clefable has Magic Guard, but Ditto, if it comes in, it takes Rocks. It doesn't have Magic Guard, like if you know what I'm trying to say. Um, so he switches here and softballs. That gives ABR more Calm Mind. I mean, that was a fine play, I guess. And he's gonna have to switch back to Ditto eventually from Pex, because Pex doesn't do anything. I mean, he can Scald here, but Scald doesn't no damage to. Um, Okay, T Spikes, but that doesn't matter. T Spikes doesn't affect anything. Um, yeah, this is just like a. I, I mean, I understand what NGMP is doing. Basically, he doesn't want to like, like he's just using up his T Spike because he doesn't have anything to do to this clef. So might as well get them up, right? Like, he's gonna have to go into Ditto eventually anyway. It doesn't really matter at what point he goes to it. Actually, if he went to it at plus six, it would have mattered. But yeah, so now NGMP, now in, um, not. Fuck, now ABR is attacking and he's locked into softballed, which means he's on the defensive. Uh, ABR already said GG, which means I think he won. Yeah, okay, I messed up a bit there at the end, but yeah, it's fine. <laughs> um, so he goes back in the ditto, so he's both at plus 6 and they're fishing for crits. Since ABR said GG, I assume he got the crit. So with a 29, he cosmic powers up. I mean, ABR is a kind of playing with fire here if he gets crit, but he just... Okay, he's self-attacking now. He's gonna softball here, I assume. And now ABR is gonna Moonblast again, right? And he gets the crit, and yeah, the game is over. Pretty much. Um, he has to go land on to hope for a crit at this point. And if he doesn't get the crit, then yep. Kofelbo just wins. And thank you for watching. This was not really the best game, but yeah, like it were two, it were, those were like two big names, so I wanted to bring you guys that. And yeah, I have a lot more games upcoming. Have a fantastic day, and I don't know, I kind of have a good outro there. <laughs> but yeah, this was a nasty game. Like this wasn't like not the best, as in like it wasn't that entertaining. Like it was not like. Well, not, not any. Like, maybe I made some good plays from going trend and doubling out. But yeah, peace out, friends. See you next tournament game or showdown live or whatever. Probably tournament game and goodbye.